You know what? One thing I've been avoiding this whole time, and this might bite me in the ass so hard, that I haven't played the twins yet. I mean, I've tried, and I've been very unsatisfied with them, but maybe, just maybe, I can do it now. So, hello everyone, it's Katrice here, and I welcome you to another episode of Chrono Arc. Today, we are going to go in with Helia and Selena, the two witch uh, twins that are said to be the best characters in the game, except I never get them to work. However, I am a bit in a rush today, so this will be a one-taker. No matter how much I will fail, this will be one take and one take only. Because after this recording, it is time to watch Blue Reflection Ray with my friends. And honestly, I am so wanting that Blue Reflection watching. I just... That, it's just a bit more important to me than playing this game. Just a little bit. But I still want to try my very best with this run though. So we'll see how this goes. I definitely still have three soul stones. And honestly, I would try to explain the passives of uh, Helena Selena. Uh, Helia Selena. Basically, they take each other's damage when they are in Death's Door. And when one of them eats food or revise, both of them do. So basically, they both get the same stuff. Now, Helia. Helia's skills are based on cost. The topmost skill, for example, in this case, would buff Dark Sun to deal 70 national damage times the, uh, the cost of the top skill. I want this, and I think. Yeah, Solar Flame is kind of what I want. In this case, I think I'll take it off Combustion. Ignore's Taunt, it can't be fixed, but it only costs one, where Prominence costs two. The early game is a bit harder, and both Helia and Sol and I have very low HP. So I need to be able to easily play through the early game. I say that, and then I screw up. That should be enough to kill that. Yeah, 19 damage, not too bad. And then we get the combustion off, and that enemy is down. Now for Selena. Selena has the same passive, and she's a healer. She is also kind of based on the, uh, on what I said earlier with the um, cost stuff. She does a lot of cost manipulation, and she has Dark Moon, which is basically Dark Sun, but bottommost skill. But basically, the synergy between Selena and Helia are between their both, uh, their two passive or rather their two buffs that they apply. Helia applies a debuff called Scorching Sun or something like that. Uh, maybe it shows here. No, it doesn't. Um, yeah, uh, Helia has, this, uh, has the Sun debuff, which is a very potent damage debuff. And Selena has the Lunar Curtain buff. I currently do not know what it does, but I can look here. Yeah, against a free barrier, uh, against free barrier whenever an enemy receives a debuff. So basically, this is just debuff city. Or rather, buff and debuff city. So uh, with Selena, we want to basically just try to heal a lot and get the Lunar Curtain buff going. I think Star Breeze is better. Because it heals. Yeah, I want the heal. So, hell yeah, it's just applying the debuff. And uh, Selena is applying buffs here. And we're trying to make it work somehow. Put this on Selena so she survives more. She has a bit less health than Helia. I think, or do I have the same? They do have the same health, okay. Uh, there's a path over there, if there's nothing here. Oh yeah, there's the enchanting table right there. Let us try to enchant 
this for size and it gains debuff resist power. I take that. I do be taking that. And then it's time for our first boss. We get one more card draw because I just want it. Observation is interesting. It is the Selena specific draw skill apparently because Selena has be art. Being able to see a third skill in the deck is pretty neat. Because then you can just use this effect, draw two cards, make that card the next card in your hand, and work with that. Some of Helia's skills are really good for a flaming arrow. We don't have flaming arrow yet, but okay. So, this will be nice. We get a basic attack. It doesn't tell us what, uh, from whom. Let's just use that. And we draw the position. All right. Oh, he did not get the debuff. That's that's kind of sad. All right, whatever. He rolls. We get some damage. We do not get another combustion for a while. We just have to somehow survive. That's all. That's our the only thing we have to do here. Doesn't even matter if Helia goes do, down or something. Okay, Dark Sun is dealing a lot of damage here. I can even reduce his cost by one so we can apply Lunaring to her so she gets his stuff. Get the basic attack going. Star Breeze is in our hand. So is Combustion. Nice. So mystery is whenever anyone is getting buffed. It's kind of interesting, but this enemy is dead anyway. Okay, this trigger is whenever an enemy is getting a debuff, and the other one triggers whenever an, uh, an ally is getting buffed. We get a mana flare, which gives, grants us two more mana when the battle starts. That's already pretty decent. I honestly don't know if I should play for the curtain uh, combustion thing. I haven't really played this combo a lot. I've only played it like once or twice. It just failed miserably because the first boss was the, the armor. The armor is still a bitch. Alright, we do not get a good defender here. We get uh, Miss Chain, which is more like a DPS. Sis, which is a very mediocre healer. Trisha who's a very good attacker, and Silverstein was also a very good attacker. Kind of hard to deal with, not gonna lie. Uh, I think I'll take Miss Chain, because she applies buffs. And applying buffs helps me with um, getting more damage off a of fire thing. Alright, play with fire is an all enemies attack, which also deals grievous burn. And... Uh, I think leave this to me was a buff. It was an attack that can create a counter attack. So you gotta take it. As for the golden skill book, we get very bad skill. Clips. Honestly decent. I take a clips. We have this now, which is great. Let's go. Oh yeah, we didn't eat bread. We could just eat bread on one of them and both of them get, get sealed. That's pretty neat. Still not sold on those two though. They're pretty weird to use. Let us see what Misty Garden 2 brings us. We got Miss Che. This combo is really weird right now because it is a uh, basically I barely ever used Miss Jane, I barely ever used uh, Helena, Hel I, I keep calling her Helena. I barely ever used Hylia and Selena. So this is just really a very unusual combo for me. Now let's see what we can do with it. Well, take damage, that's first. 
All right, we can get leave this to me or strawberries. I'm gonna redraw first. That did absolutely nothing. She will now attack Miss Chain. She has heal engage protection, so that's pretty neat. Uh, the breeze. We get observation. Is our next card, huh? All right, we reduce the heal. Heal you up. Back to you, protect you. And the turn, it casts Evil Aura, so that's pretty neat, pretty neat for us. Ouch. Get combustion off, and just attack it. The true power of this calm only gets into play once we, uh, once we unleash the uh, boss fights. Alright, we get Eclipse, which will currently cast Dark Sun, and Dark Sun is actually not good right now because it only gets one more damage. So it heals 19. Hmm. Well, with Eclipse, I would just redraw it and play for one, so I can take it. Yep. Alright, you're playing with fire. I could just redraw now, get Dark Sun again, and just kill this. Alright. And a relief is to me on him, he gets taller again. She now can counter, which, which is really cool. Heal that, get observation. We attack, she counters. And then we attack in this game. I am not very sold on this comp yet. Let's just say I don't dislike it, but I'm not sure if I do like it. Definitely got, getting those two. Keys, getting a skill book too. Not dabbling the scrolls yet. Magic scroll, teleport scroll, unknown scroll, and this could be anything. All right. Uh, we want a skill in Helia. <laughs> Prominence is really good here because rates uh, it creates a solar flare buff. If someone has a Lunar Curtain buff. And this only works if I have if I have costly skills. And we don't have solar bow right now. Alright, there's something here, but I cannot access it. There's something else I need to look out for? Yep, down there. And of course I can just get the items now. Rapier. Didn't want to do that. It's an ID scroll against evade five. I give it to her. We have money, and this should be the lost fountain where we can change our draw skill to hopefully something good. I think we organized the best choice here for multiple reasons. Did we up our mana yet? Yeah, we did. We organized firstly as a four cost skill, which is very good for Dark Sun. And, uh, uh, it also is just extremely good. It gives Light's Judgment to her. Because it also, um, it's just replaying every card we used last turn. Right, this is annoying. Okay, Lunar Ring of Dark Sun.
Nice judgment right now, deals more damage. Uh, it's still Dark Sun here. And we can play with fire. And the turn, he, he moves again. He still has a grievous burn on him. Ring that grants this. She dodges, of course, she did. And we might just lose here. That thing dies, but we cannot kill bits. I think. Oh, we can. Good crit, good crit. Yeah, this, this team is just way too fragile for me. Way too fragile. Uh, I think I need another skill on Selena. I think I want to give it good for healing stars. That's why it's heal value and never cast more than two skills this turn. It, it gets stronger. I want to take that. An ID scroll. Alright. Very lifting scroll. Nice. Okay, I can just eat two breads here because they heal themselves. Or we heal each other. Let's see how far how we get with first real boss, which is the goal. Oh wait, I didn't get the second item. Oh, it doesn't matter. You start with six mana, of course. So leave it to me. Do not touch any module. Okay, I don't. I do have a combustion here. And Lunar Ring to apply something again. Just do 12 damage. And now the plan is to just apply buffs. not do another earthquake? What did I say? He will obviously do another earthquake. Now we will discard this. The dark side deals a ton of damage. Or not. So we have the hit, the ability to hit stuff like, I don't know. We don't. Okay, discard this. Play, play with fire. She's exactly 27 health, so he does a perfect tour. No, she didn't. Wait, no, she did. She took the damage this time. Okay. Chain is dead.
Yeah, but damage mitigation is saving us here. But this was still a miserable fight. Especially when he dodged my big dark sun. Damn. We get a key relic, which is cool, I suppose. I am super unhappy with our uh, with our setup. So it just dies. Apparently, Sona does not have any. Uh, does not have any party heals whatsoever. Only one that ex ex well, it only works on two people, which already is a massive red flag. And I mean a massive red flag. Let's let go with show. There's a remnant of madness. Okay, this makes it somewhat playable. Still not convinced we can actually put this any further than, uh, than 2 1. Which, to be fair, I don't mind too terribly bad. Happens and happens. So what suck. That's how these kind of games work, though. We already have three relics this run, which is good. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let us just not get ahead of ourselves. We have a pretty much dead Miss Chain over uh, after all. We put the two more relics in here, but this means we do not have ever, we do not have to ever buy keys again if it's just good damage overall. Cannot remove this, but we can remove one of these other, uh, the other twos if we actually need it. Alright, we get another skill here though, and I think Leave This to Me is not so good. Zoom is... Zoom is okay. We did not get a good skill up for it, uh, again, so we take Starbreeze because we do need more healing. Then we give her skill put onto her. Flame Arrow, there it is. Flame Arrow is a really good skill that deals more damage, the more, uh, the higher cost the next skill we draw would be. So of course, with all the low costs in our deck, will be kind of minuscule, but we can try. It has good damage potential, but it's not the best skill in the game, by all means. We have a lot of two costs on her, which is good. We have a lot of one costs on her, which is alright, I suppose. And she is a low cost character, so this is going to be tough, but we are going to try anyway. Technically, we do have the ability to uh, to go ahead and manipulate the draws. It's rather tricky, though. We can try, but it is rather tricky. Anger of Anger. This is great on Chain right now. We need Chain to be attacked, even though she's kind of a bird of death. But, yeah. It's kind of her fault, not mine. Then for the next thing we will get a bible revised we do not have any identifying scroll i think oh we do oh great this is a very bad fact that we do not have a lifting scroll so far i wish i need one more than usual because there's a cursed enemy, enemy right there i do not want to fight it like that so that'll just kill me oh great we're to just two ad scrolls in here fair i take him i hate him Let's see what we get here. Make something for chain. We get Solar Bolt. Really important skill. This is the skill we always want to have on top of our deck, really. However, I have to cast it, it's also not too bad. Alright, since that's cursed enemy over there, I want to go do the Forge enemy first. We might still just die, but at least try. Alright. We'll take this. Did a lot of damage. Do this. The sacred ring, the curtain is applied. On the skill, you have a light judgment. This thing dies. Very important to me. And we may just survive for first battle. We heal her if she needs it the most. We get a solar bowl into our hand, which Eclipse can, but will not use. Which is not too bad, because, well, 
Oh, it didn't work. Fine. Ambulance defense. Oh. I don't know what just happened. Anyway, you attack Bart. Uh, we just hope you don't attack Helia. You don't attack Helia, actually, which is really neat. Mm. Right, you attack Faith because this will kill. You attack this because this will kill. You draw two, so we don't. We do want cards in our hand. And then we pray. No early turn for this. Great. We did just one damage. This will probably be only just one. But this will taunt. And she'll counter. Why does she always? Why? Why? Why does she not hit ever? So Helia missing almost every attack is not even funny at this point. Okay, this goes on to Selena, no, no question asked. Uh, this will keep, this will, we do wanna trade away, but oh shit, I still have this on sound. Sorry. Uh, this we do wanna change up, but we can't right now. Even though it's a 10, it's a 50% crit chance increase. So what is your accuracy? 99 that's such a scam you miss almost everything and you dare to tell me that you have 99 percent accuracy scammer still don't have what we need though hmm. this vid for all my two pots the of enhanced potions what is this this is a healing potion nice nice that's what i wanted to see Yeah, we might just die here. It's a cursed enemy. It's a horse, we die. Oh, this is fair. Flame arrow, huh? Instant stun, huh? I just ate a dodge. I just ate a dodge. I just ate a motherfucking dodge. I hate it. I hate it so much. This, that. And when, unfortunately, I have to heal Selena and end my turn. Good thing that she has healing gauge protection for burn. <laughs> so we organize. For bullshit. Nice. Nice. Hopefully she just lasts twice. Ooh, she did. <coughs> hmm. Why didn't she get damaged? Oh, she doesn't have debuff. Yeah. All right. This is bad. This doesn't even make it better. This just makes it worse. Sacrifice the balloon. We hit it. Get some heal off. damage because we cannot kill this yet it creates yet another balloon
And we cannot kill it. Oh wait, we can. There's only this lamp, which we can attack. And then we should be Gucci. Unless we just cannot hit a single attack, huh, hell yeah? 99% hit rate, my bum. Alright, we kind of survived this battle somehow. 99% hit rate, my ass, my. Alright, uh, you don't need to level up because you have 5 skills. You have 6 skills. Miss Chain gets a level up. Engine Reload. A zero cost skill that immediately gives us a buff. Great. Take it. I'll also get a draw skill because... Ooh, Celestial Alignment. This... This is busted. This is busted. I take it. This just means I get... I use... I, I take my strongest skill and cast it three to four times. That is busted. I like it. Oh no, it's horsies. Okay, flame arrow, one of the horsies. I don't want to use this because... Oh wait, it just moves the skill. Man, I do want to use this. Oh, okay. It read weird, but okay. One. Two. Three? I don't know what just happened. I feel like I got scammed. I think I did get scammed. Huh? All right, then this gets attacked twice again. And it's dead. Nice. Oh, cast this equal to be a number of alive allies. So it's a stacking card. Can be good in this constellation, so I don't mind. We level up Helia, we get a flame arrow. I gladly take two flame arrows. Great. And next boss time, I think. No, there's something up there. Skill rush and something else. Oh, it's boss time. And I am as confident as a dead person. This this just might be the wrong enemy to fight, but we'll see. Oh no, it's Joker. Fine, fine. Every everything is die jobu. Yeah yeah. <laughs> You can take promise. Okay, uh, I wanna actually no, just flame it. Take a little ring, you get a good hit twice. Now we change this. We 
much. Let me change this. Flavor again. Wait, you missed! I swear to fucking god! For real, dude. I think even though it draws me more cards, but I'm tilted now. For the fact that you literally cannot hit, hit a single fucking attack. I keep giggling. You go heal yourself, and he is his dagger again. That's what it does. Killing stars, huh? And this is how we all die. <laughs> and we just draw it again. Dodge, which is good, but we don't really get a draw here. Alright. She's dead. She's dead. And she's dead. Yep, GG. I cannot make Helia and Selena work. I do not know how. But we tried nonetheless. Maybe one day I will find out how to make them not suck in the game. Uh, maybe just having... This chain as the f third member was pretty bad, but I don't think I actually had a good choice there. But whatever, what's done is done, we tried, next time will probably be better. Anyway, I hope you guys will have a great evening or day or whatever you have, and I wish you a wonderful weekend. Bye bye!